into six regions. They propounded the beautiful ideas as well. And I put this in my book, Reviving Federalism, that I wrote in 2012. And I said that if we're going to adopt this six geopolitical zone, let us have three monocultural regions and three multicultural regions. How do I go about it? There are three major ethnic groups in Nigeria, the Yoruba, Awusa Fulani, and the Igbo. Now, these three major ethnic groups will become the three monocultural regions. So Western region or Yoruba region will only have Yoruba speaking states and areas. And this will include 80% of Kwara state, 30% of Kogi state, Akoko Edo from Edo state, Ishakiri from Delta state, plus Lagos, Ogun, Oyo, Oshu, Ondo, and Ekiti state. Now, these are Yoruba speaking people. So they will become the Yoruba region and they will be monocultural region. They, it will only be one language. Now we look at the Igbo region. The Igbo state are Habia state, Igbo state, Enugu state, Anambra state, and Eboye state. There are Igbo in Delta state. They are called Aniocha. You had them to eat. There are Igbo in River state. They are called Oba and Ikwiri. You had them to eat. So this will be Igbo region, which is monocultural because their language is one, Igbo. Then we look at the Aousa Fulani space, Shokoto, Kano, Northern Kaduna, not the entire Kaduna is Aousa Fulani speaking. It's only Northern Kaduna. Let me start again. Shokoto, Kano, Northern Kaduna, Kastina, Jigawa, part of Kebi and part of Shokoto, uh, Zamfara State. Because it is not all of Kebi State. It is not all of Zamfara State. There are Aousa Fulani people. It's just some part. So you take the area that are Awusa Fulani people and you call them Awusa region. It becomes a monocultural region. They speak only Awusa Fulani language. Then that is the three regions. They will be given their prime minister. They will control their resources themselves. They will control their police. They will control their army. They will control their court system. They will control everything. Now we are left with three other regions that are multicultural when you say multicultural that means you have more than one language now let us pick where the area they call south south you had a dope you had urobo people you had Ijo people you had ugoni people you had ethnic and Ibiubiu people isoko people you exclude anyosha because it's part of Igbo region now you exclude oba and Ikwere because it's part of Igbo region now you exclude Akoko Edo from Edo because it's not part of Yoruba region. You exclude the Shekiri from Delta because it's not part of Yoruba region. But all the other will now be Southern region. This will be multicultural because they have more than one language. It will be multicultural. And all of these people will now sit down and agree how they want to do their region. So they will create states within that southern region that will tally with the ethnic groups there. So they create a state, they call it Edo state. They will create a state, they call it Ijo state. It will only be Ijo speaking people. They will create a state, they call it Ogoni state. They will create a state, they call it Efik state. They create a state, they call it Ibibio state. They create a state, they call it, call it Isoko states. Within that region, they will have our own prime minister. So this will be normalized. They will control their own police. They will do everything themselves. Now we have, we go to the middle bit. There are Bariba people there. There are Nupe people there. There are Igala people there. There are Ibira, Ibira people there. Duma people are there. Thief people are there. Junkum people are there. That area is multitude of people. Multitude of ethnic groups. They can call themselves middle bit. If they so choose, they can give their name Kwarana, Kwaranafa, because that was what they always called themselves before. They give them whatever they need. So they now create states within that region. Ibo, you continue to flag me, you are crazy. They now create states within that region, but the states will be in tandem with the ethnic groups there. So you have a state that will be called Nupe State. You have a state that will be called Bariba State. 
You have a state that will be called Junkun State. You have a state that will be called Igala State. You have a state that will be called Igbira State. You have a state that will be called Udoma State. They can create as many states as they, as they want, but they have to give the people a sense of identity. Then you go to the Kanuri region, which we call the Northwest. There are Kanuri there. There are those who are not Kanuri there. So they will form a region. They will create states in tandem with the ethnicity in this region. So those who say, let us adopt these uh, six geopolitical zone and turn them into a region. We have now advanced, I wrote this in my book. We have advanced it and said that fine, but let us now turn this into three mono. Mono simply means one, one, one language. Monocultural region. So where are this monocultural region, Yoruba region, Aousa Fulani region, and Igbo region? Then we then have three multicultural regions. Northwest, Middle Belt, and South South, if you want to call it. That way, we have six regions, we have six prime ministers, and this prime minister will be only be focused on their region. Their region will be a nation within Nigeria. Nobody will be desperate to come and be president of Nigeria because you have decentralized everything. The police will have been decentralized. The military will have been decentralized. The court system will have been decentralized. High neck will have been decentralized. Everything decentralized. There will be peace and tranquility because young Yoruba will be using their brain to develop their region. Young Igbo will be using their brain to develop their region. Young Awusa Fulani will be using their brain to develop their region. We will not have time to be killing ourselves. Because if young Yoruba are developing their region, you think that Igbo will continue with their uh, organized crime, with their drug that they, they are doing all over the world? No! They will want to sit up and develop their space. The solution is regional government without war. Believe you me, without a return to the regional government, we are going to kill ourselves in that country and people will die. It is just that you, Yoruba Christian, you don't speak truth to power. That is why we are facing problems. You think people will not die. You think this unity system will continue. Unity system that is making Yoruba land to be poor. You think a generation will not come. Why is my generation openly speaking up and calling for organized violence? Why, why is that? And because you have not seen us blowing up spaces, you think it will never happen. You are deluding yourself. Young Yoruba all over the world, they know the problem. The problem was caused by two people, the Igbo and the Fulani. The problem is 1966 and 1999. These are the problem of Nigeria. The suspension of 19 and the regional government in 1966 and the unitary constitution of 1999. 